Wait, now who are you? I'm Kim Elman. I'm an F1 photographer and a YouTuber and a TikToker. And oh. I just thought I'd come up here and take some photos this morning. And then um, these guys, I did a meet and greet. I promoted this meet and greet on my uh, <laughs> oh, you did? Instagram. Oh, okay. And I've got five or six people showed up. I thought wow. if I get any, that'll be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, what brings you to Los Angeles? Uh, I had three days before the Austin race. So I thought, oh. let's... Um, and I flew in on Zip Air, which was an amazing yeah. airline. And I thought, well, let's come and spend three days here because I think it's probably better value than going to Austin and a little bit more to do. Yeah. Last night I went to that uh, Chargers game as a guest of oh. SoFi, which was fantastic. Excellent. And uh, today I'm photographing here. And then uh, tomorrow is a travel day, and then Thursday we're at the track for four days. So are you an app geek as well? It's not really a geek, no. but I... I often need photos of different airlines for my videos, and I need some vision. So, yeah, this is a great way to kill a couple of hours. Gotcha. So, um, what are the challenges of uh, shooting F1 cars? Is there a challenge to that? Obviously, they're going pretty fast, just like these planes. Yeah, the challenge is working out what the shot is, because anyone can take a photo of a car. Uh, it's right. a matter of what looks good. And that will be uh, a bit of research. It'll, like for instance, there's a shot in Suzuka last race where, if you, uh, if it's a sunny day, they go underneath the road above, and they're in darkness, so you have to expose for them. But it blows the front and the back out, and becomes this white front and back, and the car beautifully exposed, and it's a great photo. But uh, it has to be bright. Uh so here's a question in the chat. Scalo69 says, Kyle, what track is the best for photography? Have you ever been situated at, is it Roscoss Ross Corner Cass. in Monaco? Yeah, Monaco is my favorite Monaco. track by far to shoot. And uh, Roscoss is okay. Uh, nothing special there. My, my favorite shot is the uh, coming out of the tunnel. That's my biggest seller. If you go to kimilman.com. As you know, go to ProStarPicks.com, and uh, if you search my favourite or best-selling picks, that is the one that sells, yeah. outsells everything. Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo coming out of the tunnel from last year in that golf livery. It's a cracker. Uh, to our friend Taylor travels the world. So who do you got for Sunday? Max <laughs> or Charles? Oh, it's amazing seeing your little setup here with your little... What, what is that being like an airport? That is the ding that you hear on the plane for the, <laughs> the uh, flight attendants and the pilots talk to each other. Who do I think will win on Sunday? Oh, Max. Max is winning everything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's an American Airlines flight leaving. Not my favorite airline. I'm actually flying Alaskan tomorrow and their business oh. class oh, is- Oh, very nice. Reportedly fantastic. It certainly looks good. So I'll be doing a travel video on that and my latest travel video. And I, for, for those people who didn't hear me earlier, I uh, landed on Zip Air Sunday morning and within minutes of me turning on my phone, uh, getting coverage, somebody had sent me a, a still from your coverage <laughs> saying, I think you're on that plane. And I was. Yeah. Amazing. And, and that's how I knew about what you do. And then I get up here and find out you've got this quite elaborate <laughs> setup here, the likes of which I've not seen prior. Yeah, I was in Dallas last week and half this equipment went with me. Not all of it, but half of it. The battery certainly didn't go. But yeah, we took the show on the road and it was quite the uh, challenge. And how many hours are you set up here? Well, we were out here just under 11 hours on Sunday. Today will be about eight hours. And what's interesting to people? What do they love seeing? And, and what sort of audience have you got here? Well, Numbers. you know, you've got the true av geeks who just love anything aviation. They love to watch the planes land, take off. Uh, you've got some people that just enjoy the ambiance of the sounds and just the, uh, it makes people just relax. It's, it's uh, the sounds of the traffic, the sounds of us talking mixed in with the planes. Uh, it's just a re relaxing thing to watch. It's a good thing to do, there's no doubt. In fact, on my last travel video, because I do, every time I go from a race to another race, I just change countries. Sometimes, um, yeah, like here I'll do a couple of videos inside America. 
But uh, you know, I talk about my trip and I show the seats and the appetite for that content is huge. Oh, yes. People want to know every single detail. What does the toilet look like? What's the flusher? How does that work? <laughs> so I'm more than happy to share that with people. And uh, Zip Air was a real standout. I was just going to ask you about that. I've heard that Zip Air is actually really nice. Now, nice. What, what was the one thing that you, you, when you walked off that plane, you think about it now, what was the one thing that really stood out in your mind with Zip Air? Well, my video, if you have a look at it that I did, it's called, I ordered all the meals on Zip Air. I thought the food was great because you pay for everything. And I, I booked the, um, there's 18 lie flat seats, although it's a all economy yeah. aircraft. There's 18 lie flats, which is the equivalent of business class in almost every airline. And it was a stunning seat. You had to buy your blanket and you had to buy your eye mask and everything, which was fine because it was a quarter of the price of Jowl's flight. Right. And uh, I just think, I'm so disappointed they don't fly everywhere I go because I would fly them every single flight. Wow. That was wow. amazing. Amazing. And even their economy was very comfortable. Not that I would sit for 10 hours in economy. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I heard the exact same thing. Uh, we have uh, Captain JC who flies for Atlas Air. He just recently flew Zip Air and he said exactly, mm. almost word for word, what you said. So it's, it's, and that's coming from a 747 captain. Well, so. I fear that they're going to realize how good it is and jack the price up. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but I booked about 10 weeks out and got it for 80,000 yen, 88,000 yen. And then I looked the other day and a few days out they wanted 160,000 or 140. Ah. But it's still, it's still cheaper by a mile than their $4,000 Australian JAL equivalent. Right, right. So what's after Austin? Um, go to Mexico, and then I come back to Las Vegas for a few days for the launch of F1 in Vegas. And then I go to Sao Paulo, and then Abu Dhabi, and then home. That's the end of the year. Wow. All right, so where can we catch you? On YouTube, your YouTube channel is? Kim Illman, K-Y-M Illman. If on Instagram, it's Kim Illman. And it's on TikTok, it's the same thing. Just search my name and uh, come and join me. Watch my videos. Yes. You'll love it. And I might even, I'm going to put a little bit on my next video about this. Excellent. Yeah, we we'll look so forward to that. You'll get a rub off too. <laughs> well, Cam, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll let you get back to your meetup over here. It is a pleasure. My and, gosh. Uh, congratulations on what you do. It's a stunning idea. Well, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Pleasure, mate. All right. All right. You sure you don't want that bad? All right, all right. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> How cool is that?